Hey guys, welcome back to AX3 Gaming. My name is Alec and welcome back to another episode of Journey of Wrestling. If you guys did not catch that last episode, I don't even want to talk about it. Some stupid things happened and made me change everything on my show. So make sure to go back and watch that. The entire uh, playlist is linked in the description. Also, before we get started, guys, if you could hit that like button, if you're enjoying my content, that does help me out a lot. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell if you are enjoying my content so you get notified whenever I release a video. Now, without further ado, guys, let's get right back into booking NXT TakeOver London. All right, so like I mentioned uh, last episode, did not go my way. We found out that all five of these superstars you can see right here uh, are all suspended. None of them really did any any damage except for Big E, who was one half of the tag team champion, so I had to strip him the championship. And then also Roderick Strong, who was supposed to be in... Um, um, a number one contenders feud with Johnny Gargano, his former tag team partner, uh, to determine the next number one contender. B Priestley was also a hit as well. She wasn't in any big feuds, but she was a like a key main eventer. So uh, she was gonna be in a tag team with Tony Storm, but that ended up being canceled as well. Last couple episodes, I think I saved it pretty well. As you can see, our fans are back up to where we were before we had that big deficit of shows that just made me lose so many fans so i think we're around a similar place we were before so that's good so now we can actually start building again and um and yeah the last pay-per-view ended up doing really well so that was great um and then nxt takeover london here we have a lot of a, a pretty good amount of rivalries going on here they're actually pretty high as well like not uh not except for this tag team feud here and then maybe randy orton versus Ray Phoenix, which is not even that low either. So we had to scramble to put a lot of rivalries together because four out of my six rivalries ended up blowing off at the last pay-per-view. And then I had a bunch of them planned out uh, of the new feuds I was going to do, but then uh, the plane ride from hell happened. So, <laughs> so that kind of screwed up all my plans. Um, I do have a very good... I, I, I kind of planned out the women's championship for the next, I think, month at least, maybe two months. And uh, the the men's uh, the men's uh, 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 what is it called the NXT Championship the men's World Championship is pretty much planned out as well. So I have a pretty good idea of what I'm booking tonight. I think I shouldn't struggle too much with that. So Kevin Owens versus Adam Cole once again made eventing with their 170 point feud. Let's go for the NXT World Championship. This is going to obviously have a gimmick. I've done an Iron Man. I've done a ladder. I'm pretty sure. I don't think I've done a street fight. Have I done I quit? I quit. I will put I quit on their match. And I will also add a blow off. They're at 5.5 out of 7 on their staleness. The After tonight's show, it'll bring them up to at least a, a 6.5. So I need to blow it off tonight. And then we also have for the women's match, we have Starlight Kid versus Shayna Baszler, who has a very who have a very hot rivalry right now. And then Alexa Bliss versus Starlight Kid, so I can make that a triple threat match. Uh, and then we can use like the feud points here. Um with Shayna and Starlight Kid to get uh, a, like a hot feud in in for the championship and then we can also get the championship in that feud as well. I don't know if that sentence even made any sense but so here's what I'm thinking going forward. So what we did with Starlight Kid versus Shayna Baszler is we booked a mask versus career. So when I, whatever last match I have between them, whatever the blow off is going to be, either Shayna Baszler is going to have to retire if she loses or Starlight Kid is going to have to take off her mask. Shayna Baszler is not retiring. That's not happening. So I cannot blow that feud off tonight because in the triple threat match, Alexa Bliss is going to go over. So in order to, because their, their thing is getting stale as well and I want to move away from the, that feud anyway and just do a one-on-one -on -one women's championship feud so tonight i have like i i, I wrote all this down <laughs> i'm not crazy i swear so yeah tonight is going to be a triple threat match alexa bliss versus starlight kid versus Shayna baszler and then alexa is going to win that match uh but we're not going to blow off their feud we are going to blow off alexa bliss versus starlight kids feud so that can end even though there's still a lot of room there but that's not what i want to do and then Next week on NXT, uh, on NXT TV, we're going to have Shayna Baszler versus Starlight Kid in their blow-off match. So we're just going to have that on a regular episode of NXT. And then 
So that's going to blow off. So then Starlight Kid's going to lose her mask, which is fine. <laughs> um, a hindsight, I probably shouldn't have booked this in a mask for, mask for career. But I had no clue it was going to take this long. And I had no clue all the things that were going to change in the meantime. So after that match, Shayna Baszler is going to start beating up Starlight Kid. Alexa Bliss is going to come out and make the save on uh, for Starlight Kid and help her out. Which will turn Alexa Bliss' face. And then start a rivalry between Alexa Bliss and Shayna. And then Shayna's already a heel. And then that's our next women's championship feud going forward. So that is is pretty good and and all uh, all done. So that's a long explanation uh, just to book a triple threat match for tonight. <laughs> um, where the hell? Okay, there we go. So we got Alexa Bliss and we got Shayna Baszler and then we got Starlight Kid in a triple threat match. Beautiful for the NXT Women's Championship. So new challenger is going to get a blow off. Um, and then Master's career is going to stay because I'm not sure, like even in a triple, I don't want to risk it because if I blow off that feud as well and Shayna, it could be if Alexa Bliss wins this match and I blow off their feud as well, it could be that Shayna has to retire and start like kid has to take her mask off, which is basically the worst of both scenarios. So I will not do that. And can I do a gimmick triple threat match? Yeah, I can. A ladder match makes sense. Yeah, let's do a ladder match. Okay. So that's done too. Johnny Gargano versus... Okay, here's what I want to do with this. So this is going to be a number one contenders match. I don't like how I can't make this a number one contenders match. Like, it's super annoying. I, I, I know for a fact I've done it before. Like, not in this universe, in another universe... Uh, that I that I created um, that I played on my own time I was able to make number one contenders match so I don't know why it's not working now or if I just don't know how to do it I'm just gonna remember who's the number one contender like there's nothing there's really nothing else I can do because that's just stupid anyway John gonna get Johnny gonna gonna go <laughs> what the hell did I just say Johnny Gargano versus Braun Strowman in a number one contenders match um, and that is going to determine who is going to be the number one contender for the NXT World Championship at the next pay-per-view. So I think I need to blow that off then, even though their rivalry is pretty fresh. Pretty fresh. And then do I want to do a vi- I'm going to do a video package for- for video package for Adam Cole and Kevin Owens just to make their freaking match insane. So that's, so I'm gonna put that at the beginning-ish of the show. Ray Phoenix versus Randy Orton. No, no, uh, let's book this one first. Will Ospreay versus Rhea Ripley for the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. Um, they don't need a gimmick, I don't think, and neither do they. Neither, do, yeah, I'll just have gimmicks in the, in the bottom two matches because I found in the previous episodes that every time I book a gimmick, not every time, but sometimes when I book a gimmick, it ends up not going my way and I end up losing prestige for that gimmick. So I'm going to save them for big matches um, instead of just throwing them away willy nilly. Okay, and then we have Randy Orton versus Ray Phoenix. That's fine. NXT North American Championship and then Tag Team. Team Dude Man versus Irish Storm. One of the things I had to do was book um, with Strip the beefy boys of the tag team championships because Big E got suspended for a month and I didn't want to risk not having the championship on the show, um, which I think will decrease the prestige and probably decrease my overall star rating of the show. I think it's a good idea to have a vacant, like, kind of championship match. The Irish Storm, which is uh, Tony Storm and Killian Day in the new team versus Team Dude Man, one of the previous uh, one of the previous uh, 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 number one contenders for the titles. And I think that's the show. So I have three segments left. What I also am going to do, a feud package between these two Joe Schmoes. Yeah, might as well. And then have that there just to make that even better. And then I might even do, nah, that's too many feud packages in one night to do a third. Um, and do I want to, I'm thinking if I should have Alistair Black on the card. I have no money, no money, no money. Oh my God, I said the same thing again. I have no main eventers left uh, to book tonight. Yeah, look at all the people not available here. That's fine. I'll keep Alistair off the card. I think I'm going to get him to cash in soon. His money, because he's the money in the bank holder. I think I'm going to get him to cash in soon. And I think I'm going to not, it's not going to be for the world championship. I think I'm going to get him to cash in on the north american championship potentially starting a feud there but we'll see we will see see so let's go through this card uh let's make sure i got everything here um let me make sure i'm not missing any blow-offs right okay i am pleased with this card i hope you guys are as well <laughs> let's get right into it guys uh feud package 
Uh, starting off the show, we got Starlight Kid and Shayna Baszler just to bump up their feud a little bit more right before the match. Next, we're going NXT Tag Team Championships deemed Dude Man versus the Irish Storm for the Vacant Championship. Uh, moving on, we got NXT North American Championship Champion Randy Orton defending against Ray Phoenix. This is the first time I haven't had like gimmick matches in every single for every single match. And then we're going to have a feud package between Kevin Owens and Adam Cole to boost their rivalry a little bit more. When we go on, we got Rhea Ripley versus Will Ospreay for the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. Uh, number one contenders match, Braun Strowman versus Johnny Gargano. And then we have Starlight Kid versus Shayna Baszler versus Alexa Bliss for the NXT Women's Championship in a ladder match. And then to finish off the night, we got NXT World Championship, Adam Cole versus Kevin Owens in their final match of this historic feud. It's been going on for three months. And it's at like 170. Like, what a freaking feud that is. I need to be careful with Kevin because he has lost every match in this feud. Not every match, but like every pay-per-view match. And I need to figure out what I want to do with him because this is the last night for the rivalry. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with him next. I may be in the tag team division. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to write that down to make sure remember to do something with Kevin Owens. And this show sounds great to me, guys. I think we're going to pull out a good star rating for it. NXT presents NXT TakeOver London live tonight in front of a fully packed audience. Fan interest is high for the event, which is headlined by Adam Cole versus Kevin Owens for the NXT World Championship in an I Quit match. Whoa, what the hell did I just say? I Quit? <laughs> One of the most anticipated matches of the night is Alexa Bliss versus Shayna Baszler versus Starlight Kid for the NXT Women's Championship in a ladder match. Other matches that have fans buzzing are Will Ospreay versus Rhea Ripley for the NXT Cruiserweight Championship and Johnny Gargano versus Braun Strowman. Continue to see our predictions for the event, and here is the pretty little poster here. We got a lot of our main eventers, I think every, all of our main eventers almost, uh, on this poster right here. Beautiful. Let's continue on. Uh, here is Alexander Cooper <laughs> with his uh, predictions for this event. Um, he predicts Adam Cole is going to retain, Shayna Baszler is going to win the title, and Johnny Gargano is going to win. Will Ospreay will retain. Randy Orton will retain. And Irish Storm will win the titles. And let's see how well they do. First off, we've got a video package errors between the Starlight Kid and Shayna Baszler. It's focused on interviews given by Starlight Kid and Shayna Baszler about each other. Okay, three star. But added eight points to the rivalry. So a little bit of a trade-off there. Uh, it seems like whenever I do any segments any regular segments on pay-per-views they don't do so well as well as they do maybe on weekly television so maybe that's something to keep in mind for future um so for the vacant nxt tag team championships um i think team dude man it's time for them to pull out a victory i don't think they've ever won a match as a team at least a big match and they were pursuing the tag team championships for a while and then tony storm and, and killing dan were just made a tag team so I think this is good to make them the tag team championships and a four and a quarter star match. That's good. Riddle is starting to get over. Awesome. Uh, and three points to the rivalry. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Randy Orton versus Ray Phoenix. Um, oh, I can only use this once every two months. Okay, I get it. I get it. The ring collapse. And I used it with like, I think I used it with Tony Storm and Big E on like a random episode of NXT. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Okay, uh, that's good. Um, and Randy Orton will pull out the victory here. And it did a lot for uh, for Ray Phoenix there. That's good. So we're, we're potentially building another main eventer here in the future. Um, four and one quarter and three points of the rivalry. Randy Orton and Ray Phoenix put on a hot match, boosting their uh, overness by 5%. Good. Looking good to me, boys. Moving on, video package between Adam Cole and Kevin Owens. Ooh. Ooh, no. Crap. One. Oh, it already held. See, that's why. Damn it. Okay, I need to do that. I need to write that down then. Because, yeah, I mentioned the other, like, the other time that I don't know if it matters if I redo things in a rivalry or not. Um... Because like I don't know if it, it affects the actual the actual thing, but apparently it does, and so I got in tr trouble. Yeah, it reduces its rating, so I got one and three quarter stars, and it reduced the rivalry by nine. Okay. Ha! Crap! That's freaking annoying. That's okay. I that's a lesson learned. Hopefully, it does not affect the show too much. Damn it! 
because now it's gonna, it's gonna affect the main event because the rivalry went down. Anyway, I'm gonna have Rhea Ripley pull out the win here and become new uh, NXT Cruiserweight Champion in a five and a quarter star match. Let's go in there. Oh my God, the rivalry went up to 78? Okay, finally the Cruiserweight Championship coming around. Uh, maybe they just didn't want to see um, Will Ospreay as the Cruiserweight Champion, but there we go. We got a new Cruiserweight Champion. Uh, Johnny Gargano versus Braun Strowman. Um, I'm going to add a finish here. And I am going to get Johnny to cheat. Because he is a heel. It's only half a star. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's good. Add it. Beautiful. Did great for both of them. And okay, four and a quarter star match. Good, 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 good. Oh, I didn't look down here, sorry. Uh, they had a four and a half star feud. Um, Johnny Gargano's morale went up. That's very good because he was getting a little upset for some reason. The greatest wrestler between uh, Will Ospreay and Rhea Ripley became hot. B beautiful. Rhea Ripley and Will Ospreay put on a hot match. Beautiful. Ron Strowman and Gar Johnny Gargano put on a hot match. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Everything is just beautiful today. Moving on, a uh, triple threat match. Uh, we got two rivalries here. Uh, I did say Alexa Bliss was going to win this. Um, and I think this can just be a regular. I, I really wish I could choose in like in multi-person matches. I really wish I could choose who wins and who they pin to. Because depending on who they pin or, or who they get the victory off of, it could really change. Well, this is a ladder match, so I guess that doesn't really matter. But I'm just saying in normal, normal matches. Because um, it really does matter who pins who. Like, cause if, for example, if this was a regular triple threat and Alexa Bliss pins Starlight Kid, you can you can justify Shayna Baszler getting another opportunity because she was never pinned, uh, and things like that. But anyway, Alexa Bliss will win here. Everyone got positives. Perfect. Someone's bleeding. Oh my God, Starlight Kid was, was bleeding a lot. <laughs> my goodness. Um, a four and a half star match. Uh, good. There, everything went up here. Um. This was successful. Starlight Kid, Shayna Baszler, and Alexa Bliss put on a hot match. Awesome. Everyone's been performing great, actually. I should say, like when it comes to big matches, like all my perform, all my wrestlers have been uh, pulling out hot matches, which has been great. New challenger feud between Alexa Bliss, Starlight Kid uh, blew off at three and a quarter star. That's okay. Ladder match effects went up. Alexa Bliss is on her way to becoming the face of the company. Starlight Kid, 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 <laughs> Starlight Kid bled in this match. Alexa Bliss superplex, sorry, suplex, just regular suplex. Uh, oh, there we go. Starlight hit off the top of a ladder, crashed onto the map below. Fans are going crazy. You've been awarded $30. Okay. I'm liking how this is looking. I'm liking how it's looking. And then got the Adam Cole versus Kevin Owens NXT World Championship main event. And Adam Cole will once again pull out the victory. I don't know why Kevin's so happy he keeps losing. But anyway, Adam Cole wins. Um, excuse me? One, two, three, four, five, six and a half star match. Who knows? Maybe if I didn't do that stupid feud package at the beginning, it would have been seven stars. But a freaking six and a half star match? I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> I didn't even know it was possible to go five past five stars in this game. But apparently... Dave Meltzer's scale is broken. Um, well, apparently Kevin Owens' shoulder was bleeding as well. That's weird. This is looking good, dude. Everything's looking good. What do I got? I quit match increased. Uh, Adam Cole hit Kevin Owens with a dozen consecutive chair shots. Jesus. Fans are going crazy. You've been awarded $30. Kevin Owens bled in this match. Uh, top talent feud between Kevin Owens and Adam Cole blow off with a four and three quarter star feud. Awesome. 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 And at the top here... Uh, Adam Cole and Kevin Owens put on a hot match boosting their overness by 5% each. Doesn't matter because both of their overness is 100 freaking percent. They're on fire. Awesome. So Adam Cole has been an NXT champion for six months now. Uh, once again, I still need to get that, that like wrestler of the year award. So I'm going to keep Adam Cole, I think, champion for the entire year. Hopefully he'll get that award and um i'll get i'll complete my goal so this is looking great i think i i think i pulled off a five star show here or maybe uh maybe a four and a quarter star but maybe five star let's see oh four and one quarter hmm i guess this the the feud packages yeah the feud packages are what really brought me down okay i'll remember that for next time i wanted to try something new see if that would help the rivalries by putting a feud package on the same show but uh no <laughs> i'm not doing that anymore i'm pretty happy with this guys every i say this i say this so much but every episode 
I'm either over the moon or under the bottom of the depths of hell. <laughs> Upset. And then it seems to be like one episode. It's not like, oh, for a little while I'm happy and then a little while I'm sad. It's like very happy for one episode, very upset the next episode, super happy the next, it's, I don't know, it's back and forth. Um, let's see what how the other shows did this week. Um, okay, we gained 2,000 fans. Good. As long as we're gaining, that's all we care. Bash at the Beach uh, got five stars and gained 11,000 fans. We were second most bought. Dominion, uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling, um... Got four and a half stars and gained 8,000 fans. Uh, World Big Summer lost 8,000 fans. Uh, SmackDown lost 4,000. And then Raw, once again, losing 9,000 fans. Raw has been terrible in this universe. Oh my god, I just noticed their buys too. They had 32,000 buys and the top pay-per-view had 128. 100, almost 100,000 more buys. Um, Raw is not doing well, guys. So what the mistake I made last episode, last time, sorry, not last episode, but last time we booked a pay-per-view is I didn't check my emails after it. So <laughs> I ended up having some not nice emails waiting for me in the next episode. So, uh, superstars, not available event occurred. Okay. What happened to Ray Phoenix now? Not available. Okay. Let's see what happened to our email. Okay, Ray Phoenix, I had a minor accident while driving around on my motorbike. I know it was quite stupid. I'm doing better, but I can't wrestle this show. Okay, so is that for a month or just this next show, like just this next week of NXT? Uh, Lucas Alexander, oh wait, what? Lee Johnson has made himself available to sign from the Indies, okay. So nothing too bad, just a little uh, injury from Ray Phoenix. I don't know, does this... So I think it's only for one episode. I think I can do a feud package instead of a match, so that should be okay. I, I wonder if you can do a promo, though. Let's. Let, I just want to see. Uh, let me go to book here for a second. Okay, so first of all, everyone's back. It seems like all the people who were suspended are back. But Randy Orton and Ray Phoenix's rivalry is not here. So I literally cannot do anything with it tonight. So I might just end that rivalry. It wasn't that great anyway. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll figure that out in the next episode. All right, guys. So things are looking good. I am cautiously optimistic because every time I get fully optimistic, bad things happen. Okay, so next episode, we will be booking two more weeks of NXT TV leading up to what is our next pay-per-view? Let's find out. NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, which is a traditionally a big show for NXT. So exciting time, guys. Exciting times, I should say, with an S. Thank you so much for stopping by, guys. Hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. It does help me out a lot. Also, right underneath me here, there is a subscribe button. If you guys want to click that to get notified whenever I release videos, so you do not miss one. And over on the right, we got some more videos if you guys want to keep watching. Thanks so much, guys.